Hi there, welcome back to Spirit and Watercolor with Linda. So glad you're joining me again. I bought some cards. I got tired of cutting um, to make cards. Every now and then it's nice to paint an original card for uh, a gift for a person, right? Or for the holidays. Um, and uh, so what I'm doing, and it, you know, and they're homemade, so it makes them even more special, right? So I, I found this on Amazon. Fun2, I think is the name of the, um, the card company. And uh, they make 100% uh, acid-free, which is always good with watercolor. It keeps the paintings lasting longer. And it's 140 pounds, so it's nice and thick. And the cold press means it has a little bit of bump to it, right? And they have this lovely little curve on the end, right? So we're going to take this, put a little tape around the edge, make a beautiful winter scene, which you can use for um, just a thinking of you card or for Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate that's at this time of year. And then this card will end up being a lasting gift because you could, they can keep it setting on a table or counter literally forever as a painting and or they can frame it too if they wish you know so so let's go to the table and let's create this beautiful winter scene together and you can you know change it up a little the way you like um, but it, you'll get the basic idea of how to do this quickly and simply here we go Okay, so I have taped, you know, put tape around my card, okay, like so, and that'll make a nice frame around this. And then um, it's on my gator board so that I can move it around. Sorry about the distracting. I tried to clean the paint off, but it is, I'll try to bring this up so you're not seeing that so much, okay? You don't want to see the, uh, all the um, things there that are. And then we're going to practice painting. Um, now you can do this on your card first, or if you want to just practice, you know, on some paper. Um, I'm taking some pretty decent paper here, and I'll 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 practice a little first so that some um, some idea of what we're going to do with our our little landscape. It'll just be smaller. And what I might do here is do an array of different parts of. Um, a winter scene and then pick out of that and compose what I want for my painting. And you can do the same thing. That way, you know, you might like this part or that part better. And another thing sometimes people do is they like a painting and they say cut it out and then stick it on the card. You can tape or glue that on as well, which is just another easy way. Except again that you have to cut and what I'm trying to do is avoid the cutting. So, so let's do a quick drawing here. So I'm going to grab um, sort of a, a stiff, sort of stipply brush here. And there's different ways to make our trees, okay. Um, and here's our palette. So I've got some light greens. That's green, gold, very light, yellowy green. And then we've got our sap green. And we have regular sap. And then we have a deep, deep, deep kind of sap green. Okay, it's darker. The other thing, too, is you can... Um, darken things up with like a Payne's gray or a neutral tint kind of thing something really dark like like this okay all right and then we have our browns as well which I use a mostly quinacridone deep gold here uh, it's just a beautiful kind of a brown that kind of turns gold so it adds a little extra earthy things and colors in there too okay it might be a little uh, sepia left from my last video we were doing rocks and some other reddish kind of browns. Okay, so let's look at our nice little landscape here and let's start to think about making some nice little trees and there's different ways to do this. Now I, I like this pointed round that's a and then also we can kind of work with this as well to make trees. It's just our flat brush. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of experimentation and learning here. Try to get my bracelet out of the banging noise. I should take it off and um, just start in. You know, 
know, with our trees like so. And you can always like erase the, um, you see what I'm doing there? Just kind of starting to create a little, uh, and that's just the framework, that triangle. I can erase that later, okay? And you can start to make a tree. Uh, if it gets too wet, we either blot with our towel like so, some of the water out, or you can use your wonderful toilet paper roll that we've made on another video. So unfortunately I had blurring on my camera, so um, hopefully this time that won't be a problem. Um, going back to my original painting I started and we did the, um, you know, the dabbing strokes with our flat brush and made our trees as such. Okay, dab, dab, dab. Um, I kept some of that on the video for you. And then um, I went from that to this card and we started this and again I had some blurring so I'm going to do this one more time hopefully much clearer but as you can see um, we've got some nice trees and some land and then we could put a little gold leaf around here like we did on our Thanksgiving cards and um, <clears throat> I can show you that and then uh, decide if we need any more uh, like rocks like here in our original painting we put in um, like that <clears throat> make sure I have some light here for you and uh, let's just take and, and another thing I had taped this before like that now I'm taking it and taping it like this you'll see in just a moment so let's go to this one and uh, maybe because my head was in the video we might have had the blurring issue um, so I will try to, maybe I will hold the board this time so uh, that it's actually closer. And I already did start another one here and instead of the dabbing strokes like this, I took a, a uh, very thin brush, very small brush and I was coming in like this with the dry brush and I'll show you another tree here. And then um, this, like I said, is taped down with this open um, and you can tape it on the sides as well this time I'm I may not do that I um, I don't think I need to do that here because again uh, we're doing a landscape as I said and it's to create a card that's also an actual painting for someone I've seen a lot of you know uh, beautiful cards that people are doing uh, on video but <clears throat> You know, they, they're they just a card, and that's great. Uh, but in this case, I'd like something where we could actually have something the person can use as a landscape uh, painting that they could mat and or frame or just frame if they like it that much because it's an actual painting as well as a card, right? Okay, so, uh, so there's so many ways to make trees. Like I said, uh, this one, whoops, what I was doing was I was taking this brush, of course I have my, my towel to make sure it's not too wet, and then we get in there with our small brush like this, and we pull in our greens as such, a little bit more dry, okay? And you can see I've got a, a couple greens. This is sap, and then there's the green gold, which is lighter underneath, so I'm kind of doing that. And then, as we did before, and let's see how, if I pick this up, maybe I don't get that blur, let's hope. Um, and then we come in and we start, uh, that has to be water, I guess. Hang on. And then we start with our tree as these we did. And I did a little, just a little hint of land. Sometimes, uh, we did a less is more video. And sometimes the less is more thing is really true. Now some people kind of do a little triangle with the pencil to get the proper fanning out of the tree, which you can do. Uh, you do not have to do that. And um, then we will get these trees more and more shaped here. Okay, let's make sure we're in here. And we've got light. That's always tricky too. But uh, the main thing is to not be so blurred. Um, and then start in with our dry brush here and start to create our tree. Kind of going back and forth and creating texture, okay. I'm feeling like my light is still a problem tonight. 
Not sure exactly why. Oh, okay. Sorry. Maybe that's a little better. We're starting to, you know, get in there and get that tree happening. Okay. And uh, we'll bring in different shades of green. I want some darker sap here. Um, like so. And we'll make these scenes. Um, and they can be as complex or simple as you want, okay? Because the idea is that, um, you know, we still want to keep it fresh, keep them light, lively, happy. And yet we have our trees, our little winter trees happening. And we just have a nice little beautiful loose painting. I always have to apologize. I always wear this favorite bracelet of mine. It is a little, making a little noise sometimes. Um, and you know, once once you've done this, you know, or you can just press in with a sponge like we've done before. And then you can, once that dries, you can fill in a little more details where you want exact little branches and things like that. Um, and add shadows and darker colors in but basically you know you're just making a pretty little landscape here okay let me just zoom in on this for a minute and see exactly where it's going and yeah and so we'll just keep working on these trees and then a little bit of uh, shadow in the snow maybe with my flat brush I can take a little brown bring a little bit of a branch or not branch a trunk in these okay because they they need to be grounded as well, right? So, bring a little little bit of tree trunks in there, and then you know you can do a little shadows as well and so forth. So, so anyway, we're gonna do that, and then if you want to bring in some sky again, where's the other one here? Um, okay. <clears throat> brought in purple, and I brought in salt on this one on the sky. A little bit of shadows underneath the trees. Just loose, loose, loose. Um, yeah, like this one, I might do that too. So, uh, just kind of pulling in. This is where I'm afraid my head will create problems. So let's go back up and uh, you know, just bring in a little shadows down here. You could bring it from your greens up here, a little down here. You know, just to kind of start to ground these trees into the ground. Uh, you can make the shadows purple, you can make them uh, gray, grayish purple, something that's going to um, make them obviously, you know, not just floating somewhere, okay? And so let's um, go from here and let's finish our pieces and we'll have some cards to gold leaf as well. I'll just bring in some sky on this one as well, okay? Um, just a little swirl of color in and around the trees and uh, down into the, toward the land, where the land is there. I have to do this right now with my camera being held just to get as clear as I can and until I can figure out, maybe I can set up the camera a different way. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, so our sky could be a mixture of the blue and purples here. Get some pretty colors on our palette. And uh, bring it back and do some pretty nice swirls going on in here. Okay. Just some soft information here. I'm going to come in and move around on the painting here. We can add more color if we so wish after. But for the moment, we're just kind of placing it in. And then bring it down. And then kind of in toward the trees here. And uh, sometimes these purple skies kind of have that feeling of cold, cold winter. <laughs> right. 
Now I'm just having some fun with some metallic gold paint that's, mine's dried, you might find, you can find a metallic paint that's not in a, you know, powdered form. I don't know if they even make this anymore by Daniel Smith. And I'm just coming around and I'm just lining the outside of my card. And it doesn't have to be perfect, although I, I like mine a little more perfect than it's going. I have a few little mistakes, but I can take my white paint afterwards and I can just go over this, but I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I'm doing here. And I'm just bringing it down like that across so that I have a nice um, line. I think my painting's moving. <laughs> I didn't tape it down. I took, well, let's tape it down. And then um, bringing that across here. And it doesn't have to be exact or perfect unless you want it to be. If you want it to be, it can be, or it can be a little bit wavy and um, stylized too. But it'll sh it's drying into, this is pale gold. I used antique gold um, on my Thanksgiving cards, which um, I didn't do a video of here because I had found those. I, I basically copied someone, and when you do that, you don't want to show what you did. I mean, it was just for gift for people in my family and friends. But I'm just trying to bring this. It just isn't staying for some reason. There we go. And we get that gold leaf going across here, and it'll be very beautiful when it dries. And like I said, if you kind of miss your edge and you don't get it straight, don't be too particular about it, but if you want it more perfect, you can take a little white paint around like here I've got, and we'll see when it dries, you know, if any of that is even a problem or not, if it looks messy, if it does. This painting, I wished it were a little more exacting. I think I'm going to go back to sponging for my... My trees come out best when I use those natural sponges that look like this. And you press, press your painting. And you can cut these out to shape like a tree. And those holes will create your tree really nicely for you. So we'll do another one of these sometime soon, right? And we will uh, see, you know. But this is a Christmassy or hanukkah -y or whatever winter holiday or just winter card that you want to give to somebody, okay? And they will really appreciate it if they like it enough to keep it or frame it or whatever. You know, it's, it's kind of nice because it comes out a lot more, um, what do we say, more fanciful 